Hey everyone, what's going on? So I recently got this new phone and I wanted to transfer my data to this new phone. While I was successfully able to do that, my only concern was WhatsApp. Because unlike every other social media apps, WhatsApp stores all your data right on your phone. And in order to use it, you have to transfer all your data to this new phone. While there's already a way to transfer data using Google Drive, it doesn't always work. Because when you try and restore the data, it does not register your number. Or when you register your number, it does not give any option to restore the data. So in this video, I'll show you a way you can successfully transfer all your data to this new phone. And to do that, we're going to use this software called What's Go from i 2 Lab. Now, I recently came across this software and I find it really easy and one of the fastest possible way to transfer data. And this is not just limited to transferring data from Android to Android, but it can also transfer data from Android to iOS as well or iOS to Android. So to get started, the first thing you have to do is go to the link in the description and download this software. And you'll also find a coupon code in the description that you can apply to get 30% discount. So once you have successfully downloaded and installed this application on your computer, just open it. And as you can see here, we can transfer WhatsApp and WhatsApp business here as well. So we're going to transfer WhatsApp data. So I'll just click on WhatsApp and then I'll just click on start. Now it will ask you to connect your devices to your computer. So let's connect our devices using USB cable. And when you connect your device, make sure that you select file transfer on both your phones. Now it will ask you to turn on the USB debugging. So to turn on USB debugging, go to the settings and then tap on about phone. And here you will see the OS version, so you have to tap on it multiple times. Now this may vary from devices to devices. On some devices it works when tapping on the OS version. And in stock Android you can tap on the build number to open the developer option. So we'll just tap on it multiple times and you'll get a toast that you are now a developer. Now we'll just go back. And then go to the additional settings. And here you'll find a new option named Developer Option. And now just scroll down and from here we can turn on the USB debugging. And if it shows any warning just check it and tap on OK. And now that our devices are already connected, it will ask us to allow the USB debug. So we'll just check on it and then tap on OK. And then as you can see that our devices are now successfully connected. So I'll just change the source device to my older device and then it will automatically select my new device as the destination device. And now we can initiate the transfer. So we're just going to click on transfer. And as I'm using a MIUI device, I need to turn on this additional setting called Install via USB. So I'll just turn it on and then click on Enable. And then click on Continue. And now as you can see that we can here select our files that we need to transfer. Text messages are transferred by default. And uh, you can select or unselect any file that you wish to transfer or do not wish to transfer. And now it will ask you to take a backup of WhatsApp on your phone. So we're just going to open WhatsApp settings. And then tap on chat. And now we're just going to tap on chat's backup. Now make sure that the backup on Google Drive is selected as never. And then tap on backup. Once we have successfully taken the backup, we can tap on continue and then it will automatically transfer all the data to our new phone. So now our data has been successfully transferred. Now all we have to do is log in on our new device to restore the data. So just log in as usual. And then allow all the permissions it requires. 
and as you can see that we have a restore button here so we'll just tap on restore so as you can see that our data has now been restored on our new phone So as you can see it has successfully transferred all our WhatsApp data from our older phone to a new phone including the images and video files as well. So that's how easy it is to transfer data using what's go from i2 lab now you'll find the app link in the description and with that you'll also find a coupon code for a discount of 30 percent so now you can unplug your device and use whatsapp as usual so that's it for today's video i hope you find this video helpful if you did make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in my next video